and today I'll be showing you quick and easy guacamole. So for this really basic guacamole recipe, these are the ingredients that we're going to need. Here we've got four ripe avocados, one small tomato, a lime, some cilantro, about a quarter of a cup, and some coarse salt. But just keep in mind that the amounts are a bit of a guideline because the recipe is made to taste. The most important part of the guacamole is obviously an avocado. And there's a special way to cut it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Grip the uh, avocado gently on one side with one hand, and then take a large, sharp kitchen knife and cut it lengthwise along the seed. Then open the two halves to expose the pit. Now at this point, you can proceed a few different ways to remove the pit from the avocado. I am going to use the most popular method, but it's also a little dangerous, so we've got a hand towel here to protect my hand. And we're going to take the same knife that we cut the avocado with and slam it, slam it, slam it, <laughs> slam it into the pit and hopefully it'll just come right out. After you've cut up your four avocados, we're gonna have to scoop out the flesh. So use a spoon and just run it gently along the skin of the avocado and scoop out the flesh. So the next step is to mash the avocados for the guacamole. So I'm gonna use a regular fork and just get right in there. If you find that the fork is taking too long, like I have, you can always use a potato masher to mash the avocado which clearly works a lot better. Nextly, we're going to need the rest of the ingredients, so we're going to chop the tomato and the cilantro. Now, I've uh, eyeballed about a quarter of a cup of cilantro here, and we're using a small tomato. One optional tip you can follow is before cutting up your tomato, you can remove the seeds so you don't have the seeds in the dip afterwards. For the next step, we need to add the lime to the avocado. The best way to get as much juice as possible out of your lime is to roll it firmly across the countertop or your cutting board as I'm doing here. To prevent the seeds from going into your guacamole, you're going to want to use your hand as a sieve when you're squeezing the lime. And now you can stir in the lime juice. Now, since we're ready to serve, we're going to add all the ingredients, the cilantro, and the tomatoes that we've kept out until we've served. And then I'll stir it. And then I'm gonna add a pinch of coarse salt to taste. Variations on guacamole recipes may include garlic, onions, cumin, or different spices. Perfect. <laughs> 